Yes, you do it. Uh huh. Nice. Tim Gallon is testing out another knee replacement that was anything but typical in a long career as an actor, stuntman, and stunt coordinator. 41 years and 300 films and TV shows, doubling as Tom Hanks, Steve Martin, and others. Two years ago, Gallon turned down doubling another famous actor in what has just become an Oscar-nominated film. I was supposed to double De Niro and the Irish in the Irish. Oh, wow! Taking that role would have meant wasting the extensive prepping Gallon already had done and missing a more dramatic opportunity, robotic knee surgery. Yeah, I had to make a decision. Gallon decided to become one of 25 patients in the Think Surgical Robotic Knee Replacement Clinical Trial at Hackensack University Medical Center, one of five trial sites in the U.S. I have a feeling that once people start to see this, they're going to adopt this as the way of doing things. Dr. Yair Kissing compares the robotic surgery to the conventional one that leaves 20% of patients unhappy, partly because pain and complications can result from imprecise cuts of their bone with a flexible saw blade. Sometimes it takes another little sliver of bone. In other words, which cut was the right cut? So we don't always know that. Dr. Kissin led the replacement of Gallon's knee, first a CAT scan. Then on this desktop computer, Dr. Kissin designed the surgery. He detailed how much bone remove and where he would place the implant. It all resulted in a 3D template of the procedure for the robot to follow in the operating room after the doctor exposed Gallon's right knee. It cuts the bone with a very fine-tipped burr, like a Dremel tool, and cuts it just like this. You can see how machined Yes. This thing is, this wasn't man, this wasn't cut by, by human hands, this was cut by a machine. While our bony cuts in the operating room look like this, look like these plastic models. Dr. Kissin says at first he was skeptical about the robotic knee replacement surgery, but he and the other surgeons recommended tweaks, tweaks to their comfort level. To um, find out that there's a tool now that can do the bony cuts of a knee replacement without my hand on the device, that was a little scary. Hackensack University Medical Center says it's become the first in the nation to buy the Think Surgical robot and offer it to patients. A Michigan study has found robotic surgeries are surging and they're more expensive than traditional options. And the authors caution against technology enthusiasm getting ahead of evidence of clinical benefits. Dr. Kissin says the Think Surgical clinical trial proved it was safe and that the robots and surgeons had performed well in the 115 knee replacements. The hype has to has always overpaces the science. The next level of science is to show that it's better than traditional surgery, that it's a faster recovery than traditional surgery. It is none of those things as yet. Don't tell that to Tim Gallon. He says it's better than the traditional surgery to replace his left knee a decade ago. Less pain, less time in the hospital, less physical therapy. Um, so it was, uh, it's a win-win. That assessment is part of the next phase of the robotic knee replacement clinical trial. In Hackensack, Michael Hill, NJTV News.